Morning, everyone. We are going to do the second part of the solution concentration lecture today on molality and molarity. So if you take a look at your chem helper, and by the way, if you don't have one, there is a copy of it in the gas law unit. Under the section that says solutions, um, all of the equations are on there. So the first equation that we're going to look at is molarity. Molarity is defined as the moles of solute. I always have to have my solute in moles. And liters, sorry, I kind of crossed that out, liters of solution. So I always have to have a mole unit of solute, and I'm always in liters of solution. The um, abbreviation for molarity is a capital M. So in question number one, we're going to calculate the molarity if I have 20 grams of NaOH and 200 milliliters of water. Notice that I don't have either moles or liters. So the first thing I have to do is convert the amount of solute I have and the amount of solution I have into the correct unit, moles and liters. So 20 grams of NaOH. I'll do the molar mass for you. Um, there is are 40 grams of NaOH in one mole of NaOH, so I have 0.5 moles. I have 200 milliliters of solution, and there are 1,000 milliliters in one liter. If you can do that metric conversion in your head, that's fine. I think it's worth taking the extra second just to make sure I get my decimal point in the right place, and I end up with 0.2 liters. So my equation is 0.5 moles. Always put your units on there and keep them straight over 0.2 liters. And I end up with a 2.5 capital M. I say that's a 2.5 molar solution. Now, when you think back to when we did the copper again lab, and I said, oh, you're gonna use a 6M solution of HCl. That was a six molar solution, which is a pretty concentrated solution. A lot of times we might have a one molar or a 0.5 molar. So again, it's a way of expressing the solution concentration, the amount of solute as moles over the amount of solution represented as liters. Let's take a look at the next problem on molality which is a little lowercase m. Remember moles, that's why we had abbreviate mole, M-O-L. We had all these different um, units that we have to keep track of. And molality is moles of solute over kilograms of solvent. Remember, we saw that in the percent. When we read the problem, we have to see if the... Um, amount of solvent is as the amount of solvent or the total amount of solution. So let's take a look at our maple syrup question. I want to know the molality of my maple syrup. I have 67 grams of sucrose. Again, I'll give you the molar mass. That's C12H22O11. So that molar mass is 342.3 grams per one mole and that equals 0.2 moles of sucrose. I am given 33 grams of solvent. This, my water, um, the solvent is water, and it's expressed just as the amount of solvent, and I need to convert that into kilograms. So 1,000 grams in one kilogram is equal to 0.033. So I have 0.2 moles of solute over 0.033 kilograms of solvent. And that is a solution that has a molality of 6.1. The next thing we're going to do is um, looking at preparing solutions and looking at um, diluting a solution concentration. Looks like I'm running out of room here a little bit. I think I can squeeze this one in. We want to next prepare a solution that is 1.5 molar. So I'm doing a lab and I say, oh, my lab calls for a 1.5 molar solution. And I want to know how to prepare that. 
And so I want one liter of solution. So I know that molarity is moles over liters. So what I'm gonna to have to do is first solve for the number of moles. I'm using sucrose again, so you can do a mole to gram conversion. 1.5 times one would be mean that I have 1.5 moles. There are 300, oopsie, mole on the bottom. One mole is equal to 342.3 grams. So that comes out to 513.45 grams of sucrose. So how I would prepare that would be to mass 513.45 grams of sucrose and then add water until I got to the one liter mark and then stir that up until it went into solution. And in AP Chemistry and APES, you'll make your own solutions. Um, so in your first year um, chemistry course, you learn about um, solution concentration and then in an AP course, you'll actually prepare them. So let's look at one more um, method of doing solution concentration in, when I wanna make a dilute solution. Oftentimes when we order an acid, for example, hydrochloric acid, HCl, we might order a really concentrated stock solution um, because it doesn't take up as much room and then I can make any diluted concentration that I want. I don't have to be like, oh shoot, I need three molar HCl, but I don't have any. So the equation that we use for that is M1V1 equals M2V2. Molarity 1 times volume 1 equals molarity 2 times volume 2. In other words, the concentration of the solution that I have in my stock cabinet times how much of that is how I'm going to determine the concentration and how much water I need to add to make my new solution. Just picture if you have a big pitcher of really concentrated Kool-Aid and you don't have enough to go around, so you're gonna dilute it down or water it down a little bit um, and get a larger volume of it. And I can technically substitute any concentration and any volume unit in there. We just typically in chemistry talk about molarity and volume. Um, uh, excuse me, uh, molarity in um, the concentration in molarity and the volume in liters, but it could be any unit. So let's do the example problem here. Um, I have a solution that is 0.3 molar and I have 0.5 liters of it. So kind of picture a little liter jug with it half full and a concentration of 0.3 molar. And I want a two molar solution. How much of that concentrated solution am I gonna to need to add? So 0.3 times 0.5 is 0.15 is equal to two X, that's X liters divide each side by two, and I end up with X being 0 0.075 liters. In other words, I would need a much smaller volume to have a very concentrated solution relative to my less concentrated solution, I'd need a bigger volume. Both of these solutions represent a, they represent a dilution. I can start with a concentrated solution and dilute it down. So here I had that two molar concentrated solution and I want to dilute it down to a 0.3 molar solution. I would only need to add 0.075 liters of this and then I would fill it up to the 0.5 liter mark with distilled water and I would have my dilution. Um, I think that does it for this lecture. You have a second worksheet. It was just a continuation from the um, worksheet two on percent dilution concentration. And then um, we'll be looking at a formative quiz and I will see you with the li in the live class chat on Thursday. Have a great day, guys.